Hi, today I would like to talk to you about my EPP FPV 1.8 meter extra large FPV platform from Hobbiking. It's this big foamy. I have done a few modifications, uh, some extensive and some minor. If we start here with the most obvious in the front, I have uh, just used that magnetic hatch and that's it and cut a hole for the GoPro this wooden platform is actually from the uh, Bixler FPV uh, mounting kits or camera mounting kits to hold the larger part of the canopy I have glued in two of these small uh, hooks that you use for uh, nailing cables to your walls or Inside, I'm using two, two 2200 mAh 40C Zippy batteries, three cells in parallel. And there is quite a few cables in there. Other major, let's see, I can move that. Other major uh, thing I've done to this airplane is the landing gear. I think it will be a few questions about this. Actually, I just opened up three holes in the fuselage with uh, a soldering iron and epoxied in th uh, three of those plastic uh, wall things you use to screw uh, stuff up in concrete and plaster walls. I use those as mounting points. The landing gear itself is just folded 0.8 millimeter aluminum that I folded. The wheels are shit ugly but they work. Those are soda can caps, some foam and some packing gear. Uh, well, I start and land about two or three meters so I don't need much rolling distance. The ECS is from mounted on the outside or ESC, sorry. And it's a, what is it, 60? Yeah, 60 ampere plush from turning it. Furthermore, instead of using the regular uh, rubber, rubber bands, I decided to do something different. Let's see, turn this over. I actually glued a piece of plywood in here and uh, some aluminum and epoxied it in place just above those holes. All I need to remove the wing is remove these two and sorry put it there the way it comes and on the inside to have the oh I think you got the sun and die right here. See here. To gather up all the cables from uh, the wing I used actually a display port plug. And bundle up all those servo cables. On the inside I have my trusty FreeSky 8 channel telemetry units receiver and I also have a few gyros using only one of them right now for the aileron. And to keep the wing steady in place I glued this plywood uh, piece of plywood down and carbon rods. They sit very, very tightly. And, ha and in the wing, you see, I have also glued in a plywood, a piece of plywood, so it keeps nice and tight. So, and if you move back for the, let's see here, tail, I did not 
have the servos on the back side here, according to manual. I started with that, but I really didn't like that. So I removed those and placed them in the tail fin here. It looks like crap right now, but it works. Also, while I put those cable back there, I placed lead strips, red on the left side and green on the right side, to have uh, better visibility when it's uh, dark outside. You can actually fly at night time as well. And I also have inside the wing here a white lead strip that nicely lights up the wing tip. So I have, the, um, have it in plain sight. The engine I use is a 35-42, 1250kV engine that pulls about 500 watts at full power in uh, on three cells, and a 10 by 7 three-bladed bladed prop from, what's it called, Master Airscrew, and it makes this baby go vertical when needed. It's real nice to have when need to we need to pull out. In windy conditions I fly about 12 minutes in calm days and easy gentle flying I have about 15 to 18 minutes of flight time on those 4400 mAh batteries. Uh, these are just regular drinking straws that I use to channel out the uh, antennas from my receiver in well about 90, 90 degree angles to have as good reception as possible at all times. And on the wing I use four servos because I have aileron on the outside and these are also gy gyro controlled so I get some gyro action, gyro stabilization and on the inside I have flapperons so they both use you know, work as flaps and they work as aileron as well. So when the flaps are down I have all that surface for very intense aileron yeah, action if needed. Otherwise it's just flaps down. And to program and use all this I have my trustworthy or oh, rather trustworthy, Turnergy that I refleshed with ER9X software and I have the telemetry units on top. As for the aileron and flapperon mix, I can show you here, full left aileron, full right aileron, and flaps activated. I have a pot here to change the angle of the uh, ailerons, uh, flaperons if needed. And they work in unison with the ailerons. Furthermore, the uh, uh, what's it called? Gyros for the aileron. I can have it turned off on my three position switch here. I can have it in standard mode or in headlock mode or head holding mode. Head holding mode it always tries to take it back to the position where it were. So you can see a slight rise here. If it's in normal mode, it just counters temporary input fluctuations. The head holding mode is really nice for flying up high and panning around just using your tail rudder. When using a tail rudder, your main wing will stay flat. So that's it.